Do we want to talk about flocking first off? Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Last uh, Thursday and Friday, we had freezing fog. Now, yes. a lot of people see freezing fog and they think, oh, scary weather. And it kind of reminds me of Jack the R- Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Every time I see it, yeah. you know, I get like worst pies in London stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> but I always think, ooh, pretty photos. Right. And boy, it's was beautiful. I right. Yeah. I mean, we just, and we even contributed. I, um, on Friday, took some mm-hmm. video of the falls. Here it is. And it almost looks like a black and white photo, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. I took some other photos too. Um, here's the temple. Boy, you think the temple is white. <laughs> right. And then you see Until Mother next Nature to... says, hold my beer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I don't like pure white. I do prefer ivory. Mm-hmm. I think the color of the temple is better, especially, okay, it kind of depends, but mainly on clothes, I prefer ivory because then when you smile, your teeth don't look so yellow. Yeah, right. Yeah. When I wore white Joker makeup mm-hmm. for, for Halloween, right. my teeth looked yellow. I know. It's terrible. <laughs> and you, I mean, you pretty uh, routinely bleach your teeth. I try to whiten regularly. Yes. Right. Yeah. Same. Use a nice, nice toothpaste that does it. Yeah. Yeah. But there's only so much you can do. Yeah. And if you go too hard, then you look like Ross in that one episode <laughs> where he bleaches his teeth and they're like freaky yeah. white. <laughs> yeah. And I know that's why some people tan too, right. is to make their teeth look whiter. That's mm-hmm. probably not the only reason. I well, would yeah, think not. Mother nature is a real mother flocker. We, <laughs> we, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> we were coming up with so many flocking jokes, almost as many flocking jokes as what, cause you got a tree this year. I did. <laughs> that is a lovely uh, gradient pink mm-hmm. from, from light to dark pink. Well, and the funny part is the gradient is made by the flocking. Oh, okay. They, so there's more yeah. flocking where it's less pink. Yes. Got it. Yeah. It's almost like they um, dumped the flocking on it, <laughs> yeah. you know? From top um, to bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes sense too, because when it snows, how does it snow from top to bottom? That makes sense. You know? Yeah. But yeah, when I took that tree out and set it up, because I'm an artificial tree girly all the way, I don't do the real trees mainly because they are they can be toxic to pets. And I am now too. Yeah. It took me... Most of my life to get to this point, but I'm now an artificial tree guy. And I get it, but it's cheaper in the long run. I mean, I only have to buy this once and now I can use that tree for 10 years. Mm -hmm. It's faster. It's easier. I don't have to go to a store and buy it every time. Um, And I don't have to worry about my pets because they are idiots. I love them so much and they are stupid as hell. And they would absolutely drink the tree water and die because that can happen. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah. So be careful of that and make sure that there are no dead puppies under your tree on Christmas because that would be so sad. So sad. This sounds like last episode when we were doing Rango Got Run Over by a Reindeer. (laughs) Right. But I've heard of that. I've heard of people around Christmas time getting a tree and then their dog drinks the water and they like wake up Christmas morning to their deceased dog under their tree. Wow. Isn't that so sad? Yeah. Yeah. Also, poinsettias are toxic to cats, mm-hmm. so keep that in mind. And uh, Easter lilies, too. And bong Mistletoe. water. <laughs> <laughs> Mistletoe, too? <laughs> Mistletoe, too. Wow. Really, Christmas is a very deadly time for cats and dogs, That's apparently. terrible. Yeah. But anyway, so I love an artificial tree <laughs> is the whole point of this. And you were making so many jokes too, like I paid how much flocking money for this flocking tree <laughs> to get all to get all over my flocking house. This tree can get flocked. <laughs> well, and right now I have guests staying over, so I'm sleeping on my flocking couch, and my <laughs> flocking hips hurt because I'm a flocking old lady. <laughs> I took a picture of this flocking tree line, and then I went back on uh, Saturday and took a picture of it without the flock. Uh huh. So it's kind of cool to see flock on, flock off. <laughs> It it really got flocked. It did. It got it has the here it has the freshly flocked look. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then it's it has zero flocks to give. <laughs> yeah, they're all flocked up. All right, we'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm all flocked up. <laughs> Till that should have been an Elvis Christmas song. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Blue Christmas is good, but yeah. oh, and a lot of people were commenting on the photos saying it was hoarfrost. And after giggling like a schoolboy for a minute. <laughs> H O A R. Okay. As opposed to whorehound candy, H O R E. Oh, okay. Okay. That's sort of like, isn't that like root beer kind of? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It's just, it's one of those names that sounds dirty but isn't like right. Fuddruckers or right. Momofuku. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. 
I think hoarfrost is when you put your leg lamp on the porch and then it gets frosty by the morning. <laughs> the <laughs> glow the, of electric sex. Yeah, yeah, the W H O R. Or it's what it would it's what happens to the windows around your lamp. Yes. That's hoarfrost. Yeah. That yeah. would be if your mom put frost on the window. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Can't let the episode go by without a your mom joke. I mean, yeah. How can you? (laughs) Okay. One's mom. Not your mom. One's mom. In the colloquial your mom jokes language. (laughs) 